Hi guys, welcome back to the York Sportivo YouTube channel. Excuse the wind, it's really windy. I think summer's over and we're approaching autumn. Yeah. I don't know. Guys, different one today. I'm gonna to show you one of my other vehicles that I've had for five years. Something like this, five years ago. Four or five? Five years ago, John Paul come to work and I said, stay in the car, we're going to collect something that I've won on eBay for 200 and 50 pounds. You can imagine the look on his face when um, we pulled up and you are mm. uh, you really buying that? But yes, I brought a Fiat Ulysses uh, for 250 pounds. I'm the second owner. I brought it off a family. They used to take this to France and back. It failed an MOT um, and I've had it ever since. And it has been the most reliable car I've owned. Um, I don't tell people I've got one. It's in, no, it's not embarrassing. No. I, I think most people know you've got it now because we just laugh about it. Yeah, we laugh about it. we do with it. And it's ideal. I take it to the airports. I do airport runs in it on my side job. <laughs> Tow bonnets. <laughs> Tow bonnets with it. Um, it's called, we've called it the jolly bus because when me and my mates get together, we take the jolly bus. We're all in that thing. We don't care, we just leave it wherever. Um, yeah, this is ideal. How many times we've put engines in it? We went to Margate in it, boat by engine. a boat engine. We towed a boat with it. Yeah. Um, this thing has been amazing and it's paid me back 10 times, isn't it? So yeah, today we're doing an episode on the forgotten Fiat Ulysses. I mean, when's the last time you saw one of these? We are going near London in a minute and we're going to go and buy a car. So this will be ideal for all of us to jump in and take this to go and get a car. Are you ready? You don't know about this car. This one is fully loaded. We have climate control and guess what? It all works. We have air conditioning and it's ice cold in here. I kid you not, you'll see later how good the air con is in here. We have electric seats. Look at that. Ooh. All working. Heated seats as well. Look at those buttons there. I mean, 250 pounds. You can't go wrong, really. We also have machine gun windows. Machine gun windows. You don't know about the machine, gun. the machine gun. These are machine gun windows. <laughs> so we have <laughs> we have machine gun windows. We have. I'm guessing that wasn't standard. No. <laughs> we have DAB head unit, which I put in. I'll tell you what's cool though. You've got this. Um, flat thing here. See that? It's not going to work because the head unit... Oh, there we go. Oh. oh. You get, you get. So if that wasn't there, that would be able to close. So you hide the head unit. How cool was that? We have storage. Check this out. Oh, where is it? I can't open it. There we go. Check this out, James. Whoa. How cool is that? And under here, there's nothing. It's just nothing. But there is an ashtray. But there's an ashtray. Cool. Uh, glove box, which is broken. If you open it, it falls out. Nice. Yep. Like so let's go to the back. Dinner tables. Look at that. Dinner tables. And then you have, you can pull that down. And you've got cups, table nice. for the kids. And then you've got two normal seats at the back. They are actual proper seats. Yep, proper seats. It's amazing. How cool is this? Do any of you watching have a Fiat Ulysses? Let me know in the comments. And is it fully loaded like this one? Or do I just happen to have a unicorn? I bet you can't wait to drive this one. I actually can't. I actually really like this car. I'm not gonna lie. It is cool. So we've got to take it to London in a minute. So we have this one. 
Now, do you know where I got the inspiration from for this one? On the Fiat Tipo, you've got Sedici Valvole. Well, here we have Jolly Boy Bus. Now, the Jolly Boy Bus come from Only Fools and Horses on the Jolly Boys Day Out in. Jolly Boy Bus. See? And then we've got this one. Jolly Boy Bus at a Fiat Ulysses. We have a Bath centre caps. And they are legitimate centre caps, aren't they? Definitely not stickers. <laughs> yeah. They're definitely real. They're definitely real. And then we've got two litre 16 valve EL. And I'm going to show you. Extra large. large. <laughs> Extra large. Oh, as well, I'll tell you what else we've got. This is so cool. A remote fob. Is that cool? <laughs> For something this old, yep. Fair enough. And, oh, something else, James. Watch, watch that mirror. Hey. Only one works. Well, you, you can't have it all. No, two litre, 16 valve wow. engine. Which makes Look at that. seven horsepower. Seven horsepower. Bosch battery. Twin cam. It's brilliant. I love it. Two litre, 16 valve is basically a uh, Peugeot uh, GTI engine, isn't it? I thought it was a, uh, <laughs> an Integrale engine. <laughs> no, it's some sort of engine that I don't recognise. <clears throat> not a Lamborghini engine. No, definitely not. <laughs> don't know what it is. I've never been too bothered to even find out because I don't care. This is something I just get in and Do abuse. we reckon it would fit a 20 valve T in this? What do you think? It's the engine mounts there, isn't it? There is room yeah, Custom. There. Don't worry about I that. I think we could Busso swap it. Busso swap it? You want V6? Yeah. Well, soon you'll have a 3.2 V6 engine that we could put in this. This is the perfect vehicle to do errands in. Um, I take this thing to airports. I take it to centre parks. I just dump it. I don't care. Park it where you like. Park it where I like. Key Me and Jake, if you want. someone has keyed it. <laughs> it's one of them vehicles where, you know, when you just don't care, but and it just keeps going, doesn't let me down. Yeah, but it doesn't look like you don't care about it, because it actually, I well, mean, from a, you know, I haven't thoroughly inspected it, but like, it from, a, from a general look, like it's, it's in good nick. Like, you, you do get it washed, and it's like yeah. clean on the outside. I've washed it today. In here, it's very tidy. I mean, I don't know if you've hoovered it out, but it's pretty clean. Like, I, it doesn't look like a car that you've abused. No. I wouldn't say. So, um, yeah, I mean, um, me and I've, JP have gone low, loads of places in this. We picked yeah. up boat engines in Margate, <laughs> didn't we, JP? He's at the back. He's um, sleeping. He's, a, he's kind of high. You should sit in the middle chair. Yeah, sit in the middle. There's a whole middle seat. <laughs> His face. I think the first thing we need to talk about, though, in this car is these seats yeah. are incredible. Well, comfy. Yeah, they're like sofa chairs. They're amazing. <laughs> and? I mean, I wouldn't want to go at any speed around a corner in them, no. but just, like, for a long trip. And they're oh. electric. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. Electric. We've got and armrests. Heated. Heated, and they work. Oh, there's a... There's a button for heat seats, and they work. No works. way. Yep. I mean, this car, fully loaded. Climate I mean, control. You don't even need heated seats on this material anyway because it's so like cushy. Yeah. It's not like leather, but who cares? Why not? Have and the they spin seats. around. They spin around. To, we know. go full picnic mode. Yep. Which I think we'll be doing later. Um, <laughs> probably a child, I would assume. <laughs> <laughs> um, I bet you couldn't get one for 250 quid now. No way. So no. basically, it was an MOT failure. It was a family, they owned this, and they used to go France in it. And the history on the car, on this, is amazing. I'll show you it later. We'll show you guys. And um, they sold it, failed MOT, brake lines, and um, silly bits. So, done the work, passed the MOT. Can you close that window, Jim? What the hell? What, the what hell are you is doing? Going on? <laughs> what are you doing? See, that's stuck. Stop twerking back there. Okay, well. <laughs> so, yeah, I call it the Jolly Boy bus, and we go everywhere in it. And it, you know, it's such a comfortable... And you can fit seven people in it. Yeah. Or oh. five people and, and a hell of a lot of luggage. 
guess what else? When I went to Vegas before lockdown, I had seven, no, I had six grown men in here. We took, what well, because the seats come out at the back, I took one seat out and we stacked it with luggage. So imagine six guys with a suitcase each, all in there. It was slow as hell, but it made it. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine it was pretty slow at that point. So yeah, sit back guys, enjoy the ride. I'm coming in. <laughs> so, so we have stopped for some lunch. Yes. yes. And the seats turn around, and oh, we're just having a little picnic. We have picnic mode. Yeah, so not on my seats, velour. Um, velour. Oh, we should have got a crown. We have been to the king of burgers, but other establishments are available. What not, do you reckon? It's a bit cramped. It is a bit cozy. I'll be honest. <laughs> Well, I'm um, assuming that these middle seats can actually click they in further all back. They click off, the back ones click out. You can actually have this as a van. Yeah, I think if you wanted full picnic spec, take the middle row out and you'd have four seats and then a big old, like JP said, you could play Twister in it. Yeah. Can we just go back to the fact that I only gave £250 for this? Yeah, it's quite crazy. Piece. I wonder if you fit a double mattress in this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. I had a sofa in this. The other one I bought to the garage. I had that in here. What, the, the massive corner sofa? Mm -hmm. How? <laughs> Does it cut into two pieces? I had it stacked. Wow. Mm. Very practical utility vehicle. Or, no, silly, sorry, guys, move your bag. What, what should I say? No, oh, I mean, does it turn into a table? It turns into a oh. table. No way. Yes. I love it. Go on, pull it forward. I'm oh, losing my wallet. <laughs> Someone pull it forward. I can't reach. That's it, there we go. Table. Oh, that's there's what the cup holder. Oh, who broke it? It's there. fixed. Anything can be fixed by whacking it. If it's Italian. Bone apple tea. Look at that. Hold on. What do you think now? Even better oh, than I could have ever that. imagined. So what, is it, what did everyone get from uh, Burger King then? I got El Chicken Royale. I went El Clasico, a Whopper. Can't go wrong. I went for the uh, bacon. It's a bit expensive though. Eight yeah. pounds for a meal. No, oh, mine was five ninety nine. And the best. So while we're scoffing on these, mm. if you don't mind liking and subscribing to the channel, and then tell your friends, then we won't have to get Burger Kings. We'll have money. We we'll go to the Ritz. Mm. In, in this. In this valet parking. We should take this to like the Dorchester Hotel mm. in London and valet parking and we get out. That would be fun. Yeah. You see what they say. Should we actually do that? Yes, but I'm not paying for it. I think we should take this to a, a posh London hotel. This is how special our channel is. We bring you the rarest Italian cars. We do the good cars and the shit. Yeah, this ain't shit. And everything in between. Shit. No, but that's the thing though, it's one of those, it's so shit that it's fantastic. Exactly. Look at I mean, this. I, how did the, they go so wrong with the multipler? Because all they needed was this. Yeah. Everyone hates them. They, people take the piss out of the multipler the way it looks. Because it's horrible. But the multipler has a seat, three seats at the front. How cool is that? Yeah, but then you can't turn it around and pick it like There's no picnic mode in the, uh, in the multipler or lounge mode or whatever you want to call this. Cozy mode. mode See, what mode. you need The is mobile espresso lounge. You need a TV mm. in the back, mm. and then you can just park up, turn around, yeah. and then you'd have a telly. We're right. getting funny looks, by the way. People are driving past. I think we should take this on an epic road trip. Yeah. That'd be cool. I think we should take it to the Nürburgring. <laughs> no. Why well, not? Eight corners, all right, it you know. Would, it would do a lap. Only one before, like, the brakes just refuse to work. Ah. Ah. Uh, tongue it, yeah, that's it. Uh. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> And the orders of bacon double cheese XL and then take the bacon off it. I normally ask them to say, can you just do a cheap double <laughs> bacon cheese XL? But that James is in for a treat when we finish. Mm. You get oh, to get to drive it, it back. back. Yeah. Um, can I just say that how depressing JP's burger looks? It's literally just two meat patties. The pale as well. Some was cheese like, and it bacon. It looks like it's come from a depressed cow. Like, where's, why is there no salad on it? 
It just looks like a pile of mush. Is that nice. comfortable? This is very comfortable. To be fair, it's very comfortable. This is nice. There we go. I'll get the shotgun. Oh my god. <laughs> what is, what is going on in here? It's so fuck it. Why are you doing close to me, old daddy? Hi, <laughs> puppy. Hey, your puppy. Oh, look, look at this. <laughs> this is supreme <laughs> comfort levels. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm hearing, hearing. <laughs> plastic rubber. Imagine if, you, imagine if you legally you could drive down the motorway like this. <laughs> Since I couldn't put my seatbelt on, it's here. The airbag goes off and you freaking fly that way. <laughs> Get projected out of the boot. See, we've gone from lounge mode to bedroom mode. <laughs> In a matter of seconds, the JML Ulysses. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, this one is actually like legit sounds like a chopper gunner. Enemy chopper gunner inbound. I have been bestowed with this great honour. I feel like a taxi driver. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a and taxi I feel cab. like I've got two children in the back because they're sat all the way at the back here. James, um, I can't hear you. Oh, I need an intercom button. I need like a. I, I can. Oh, what? <laughs> there you go. That'll <laughs> shut him up. Where's the oh, the handbrake's on the wrong side? I know, like What's a Ferrari. It? Is it like a Ferrari? I was a three five like five, van, yeah. But sure, yeah, like a Ferrari. It feels very long. I feel like I'm going to hit that bush. Yeah, it but does I'm feel not. long wound back. <laughs> it what does, doesn't it? We're going I like on it. a trip in our favourite piece of shit. <laughs> oh, the brakes! Oh my lord. Are they good? Mm, they're spongy. That actually rips. <laughs> oh my god, this thing is so massive. I love it. They go, we buy any cars, we see what they say, how much they buy this. Oh, oh yeah, we shall, should. We, shall we trade it in? <laughs> yeah. They'll probably give you like yeah, 20 quid well. for it. Yeah, I feel like I'm very high and I feel like the brake, oh my god, the brakes are so like squidgy. Yeah, I, feel, I feel kind of like I'm driving a bus, but I kind of like it. It makes me feel um, important. <laughs> like I, I feel like I'm very high up, and yeah, I, I'm like sat on top of the car rather At than the roundabout, in it. At the roundabout, turn left. It's all right, isn't it? It's comfortable. I could even put this seat back too, you know. Oh, you're up against. No, oh. you're bending the parcel shell. Am I? Yes. It's How amazing would this be for this rear-wheel drive? Oh, mate. <laughs> Unreal. The drifts would be, I think you could be insane. I think it would probably tear in half, but it would be cool. I can actually feel the aircon back here. Good. It's crazy. I, I like how the. <laughs> it's, it, like, it rolls so much. Let's talk about what other seven seaters there were about back in that oh, era. I'll be honest, my knowledge on seven seaters are not great. My mum had a Renault Espace when I was a kid. Can't tell you if it was good. And she also had a Volkswagen Charan. And I think that's the extent of my knowledge. Didn't when it comes to Ford do a Ford Galaxy? That yes, was... the Ford Galaxy. Yeah, was and that? what about the Voyager oh, thingy? Oh, the, the Chrysler Grand Voyager. Yeah. That, that had TVs <laughs> in the back. We've got a Zafira as well. Yeah, the Zafira. The Zafira's not as good as this. Oh, Zafira's no. actually shit. You've got I mean, sliding they're all, doors. They're all shit, aren't they, really? <laughs> like, no one wants a seven-seater. Oh, I do. One because you have to. Well, yeah, but this is kind of like novel and funny. But like, imagine if this was the only car you owned. <laughs> I mean, the good thing in this is like, it is very comfortable. We're going over like some fairly bumpy roads, but it doesn't really feel like it. it feels... I feel like you need some beads for the back of your seat. Yes. yes, this definitely requires beads. This is a beady car if I've ever seen one. Anal. Anal, no, no anal. <laughs> Not those kind of beads, John Paul. <laughs> Yes, everything in this car is squidgy, from the seats to the brakes <laughs> to the gearbox to the suspension. It's all just a lot of squidge, but I like it. It it, it feels like that's how it should be. Am I going straight? Left, left, left. left. Yeah, that's what Whoa. I thought. Right, it, it leads. <laughs> it does lead. All right, we're we, we're at four and a half thousand, five thousand. Five and a half, I'm not taking any fast further than that, I'm scared. It does go up to six and a half, but no. I it is a two litre 16 valve. Yeah, I mean, it's a, I don't know it's much a about it. decent engine, it's just They're in a brick. They're going to be with Peugeot in it, aren't they? Probably. It's well, it not might be a Fiat engine. Special. A lot of the, the Peugeot vans use Fiat engines. 
uh, because Fiat, believe it or not, do actually make decent engines. Who would have thought? But yeah, it, it just cruises along. I mean, what is there really to say other than it's just a very comfortable, squidgy brick with wheels on it? This is a very bumpy road and it does not feel bumpy in this. It feels like a premium autobahn experience. Maybe no, that, not quite, the old but... alpha. Oh yeah, down here, it's great, oh, it's great. God, yeah, that was terrifying. Yeah, this is very different to that. <laughs> so I need to remind myself that I'm, this isn't a performance vehicle. I can't just go around corners at speed. Hold on to your hats. Power? Yeah, it doesn't really do power. <laughs> can't exactly like step on it mid corner and tighten up your line. <laughs> It just doesn't do anything. <laughs> that aircon is amazing. It is actually really like, good. I can feel the cold from here. Yeah. I'll say it again. Look at it. It's a cornering machine. <laughs> oh, mate. Just it's click. more fun being in the back of this when you're drunk with your mates <laughs> with the music on. Yeah. This thing was designed for clipping apexes. Help. Yeah, normally we have to slow right down, but not today. Today we're taking the bumps head on in the Ulysses. <laughs> Prepare. Uh, the, the bumps aren't even that bad, it's just all the cars we seem to drive over are both like stiff and it, it's not good. <laughs> but this will be fine. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, hold on to your hats, boys. Oh, oh, oh it breezed there. See, you didn't even notice. I told you the bumps. Oh, I expected to get a nice little jump off my seat then. The man. bumps no. are non existent in this car. And we have made it. It's getting windy, it's more windier than this morning. I feel like the bus is gonna go on its tip on its side in a minute. Look at them trees. It's gonna smack on the cars. All right guys, thank you for watching today. Don't forget to hit that likes button, hit the subscribe button. We are trying to get to 20,000 subscribers and we'll give that Alfa Romeo away, won't we? Doesn't mean that you can subscribe, but then when we give the alpha away, unsubscribe, you're, you're here for life. That's it. You know. <laughs> and when you subscribe, actually watch our videos. <laughs> and <laughs> we will show you, we're going to film the 147 GTA episode as well. So that's to look forward to too.